Everybody knows this guy. Now, everybody knows he can do a radio show. Joe Piscopo. Mornings, 6 to 10 on AM 970. The answer. Good morning, good morning, Jersey Joe on the radio. It's election day, a lot going on. Our hearts go to uh, Sutherland Springs, Texas. We want you to get up and vote, and there's a lot to talk about. So when Frankie and I put the show together, we said, well, I would like to put Dr. Elena Frid, bring her back on the airwaves, because the response has been so great. So Dr. Elena, with all the patients she has waiting as we speak, takes the time to get on the subway. And to come visit her old pal Joe in the studio. Elena, welcome back. It's great to have you Thank here. Thank you so much. Good morning. I decided to give you a break from talking about the election. <laughs> oh, for a please. Few we <laughs> wanted to take, well, it gives you a headache. I want to talk about headaches. But let me go to this. You get on the subway by yourself. Yes. You know, and you got your husband is a, is a handsome dude, man. <laughs> and I know if he's with you, maybe. Do you do you get hassled in the city of New York? I mean, no, not at all. The subway is quite good. Yes. Yeah. Look at you. You are unbelievable. And then you go back and you do your hours today. I do. Yeah. God bless you, girl. Elena, Thank you are you. great, and you are great. And you talk about the things that regular conventional doctors don't talk about. And can we touch on headaches for a while? because we have a lot of sometimes Al will get it like a migraine, you know. But a lot of women get migraines. You said, and you deal with them, and you tell what is what is the is there a therapy is to you don't don't you take excedrin migraine is that what you take is there a better way to do it well first of all when patients come in complaining of headaches you have to talk about what are the there's two big categories of headaches primary headaches which are your tension headaches migraines cluster headache medication overuse headaches daily persistent headaches and there's a slew of other ones mm. but then there's the secondary headaches which means they're secondary to something and these are the headaches that people always worry about because they can be caused by bleeding aneurysms huh. brain tumors oh. sinus infections oh. or neck problems like disc herniations oh. uh, increase intracranial pressure so there's various reasons why one would have headaches and in fact headaches are uh, the number one reason why patients go see any doctor so it's a quite prevalent medical problem that obviously every physician should know about and most patients would know of or have ever experienced wow. a headache well wow, now I'm really worried about everything it could be sinus it could be like something serious Ble it, bleeding so you don't know yeah you don't know and when you when do you need to worry about a headache I right? worry about it all the time <laughs> I'm a hypochondriac. But, but when I'm worrying now. <laughs> Do I have a, headache? I don't even have a headache and I'm worried? You're, you're like your typical <laughs> male patient, a hypochondriac. Is that true, though? Is that true, though? <laughs> Honey, I feel like that. I feel like, Maybe more. Do I look okay to you? I got it. <laughs> No, so uh, <laughs> when do you worry about a headache? Well, first, uh, new onset headaches are worrisome. So if you've never had headaches before and all of a sudden you're developing a headache, that's something you should see a doctor for. Then when if you have had headaches before but your headaches have changed mm -hmm. in frequency or intensity or severity, mm -hmm. that's worthwhile uh, examining with a physician. And, of course, if you have any other symptoms mm -hmm. uh, with the headaches like neurologic deficits, that would be and something that you would want to see a doctor for. Neurologic deficits. So, yeah. so you uh, can't do something that... Yeah, blurry yeah. vision, <sighs> uh, weakness in your arms or legs, tingling, trouble speaking. Yeah. Uh, these are the things are like red flags. Go see your doctor. And what's with the migraine? So many people have migraine. And is that just because everything's more stressful now? <laughs> Nowadays, you know what I mean? The more to worry about? No, migraines are probably the more prevalent uh, primary headaches that I was talking about. Mm. And, um, you know, uh, migraines are usually last for a number of hours. So they can last for four hours or even up to 72 hours. Wow. They're usually associated with nausea or vomiting, sensitivity to light or sound, and very difficult wow. to treat often if you catch them later on, mm. uh, like if you don't treat them right away. And so migraines are something that is life-altering. So if you have a minor headache, a tension headache that gets relieved with a leave, or a mm. massage people don't usually you know talk about it but mm. if they have migraine and they have to skip work or an event that's something you'll hear about how do you treat that Elena how do you go what do you, what's what's the treatment is there something you put on your head when they come and see you yeah. and, and because usually I would just pop a pill no 
Huh? Well, if it worked, right, there wouldn't be neurologists. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it doesn't uh, work for everybody. Um, people take medicine and it just keeps, they do. wow. Yeah, so for people who have severe uh, headaches, and those of you who do obviously know this, uh, there are two classes of uh, medications that we talk about. Mm. One is preventative medicine, which means you take it every day despite whether you have a headache or you don't to prevent your headaches. Mm. And one is abortive treatment. So these preventive medications, well, one of them is lifestyle modification. So sometimes people would change their diet. Um, they would know what's triggering these headaches. And so they'll kind of stop doing those things um, if, if it's drinking drinking a lot of coffee or drinking alcohol or staying up late. So you'll try to avoid these type of behavior. And then of course you move to medication and the medicines are actually fall into various classes including blood pressure medication, including um, anti-seizure medicines and antidepressant medications mm. and they're all used as preventative for headache treatment and then of course the abortive treatments are more of the pain relieving medicines like you said pop a pill of Motrin or Tylenol yeah. that may work yeah. for some patients yeah. especially if you take it early yeah. but then you may need prescription medications as well you know I hold in my hand a triple espresso here if I want if I don't drink the coffee oh my gosh that headache comes on yeah. so strong yeah. What's that take, a, a day, three days almost, to, just to flush yourself with the caffeine need? Yeah, so caffeine can trigger headaches. That's absolutely true. And some patients will need the coffee not just to wake up but to prevent a headache like you mentioned. I would recommend to taper off caffeine mm. Mm. because ultimately it can cause uh, withdrawal headaches. So if you can limit your coffee intake to a couple of cups mm. of coffee a day, that probably will prevent headaches longer, long term. Dr. Elena, where could we find you on the, if, if someone's listening, is there a website we could just go to? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's elenafridmd.com, E-L-E-N-A-F-R-I-D-M-D.com. I learned that from Joe. I to spell it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. And then, uh, wait, wait, you're not going to be there Friday night at the Gold Glove Awards. I'm you not. Know? I'm mm. actually going to an international Lyme conference called ILADS um, mm. that's held once a year. This year it's in Boston. I am presenting this year Look on autoimmune encephalitis. Look at you. Thanks. You do it so great. You really are. And then we'll do the big event. We hang in the same circles. You're listening. Uh, we have a mutual friend in Ray who is just a godfather to us all. Yes. And a mentor and a friend. And I guess we'll be down in Lake City in January. Yes, we will. All right. I'm and looking forward to it. Yeah, that's always <laughs> fun. That's always fun. Love to the family. Elena, thank you. Keep up the great work. Dr. Elena Frid. And uh, the, the website one more time? ElenaFridMD.com. Well done. Well done. Nice to have you here. Thanks so much. If it's happening in New York, New Jersey, or Long Island, hear about it with Joe Piscopo. Mornings, 6 to 10 on AM 970. The Answer.